ever feel awkward saying no when you should? Sometimes we actually feel awkward when we need to say no because we, we are actually af we are afraid of uh, the way people will feel, the way people, what people will tag us, the way people will tag us actually. And uh, we, end up, uh, we end up saying yes when we actually mean to say no. Today on the program, I have a guest that will be joining me to have a, a, a breakdown on this topic that we are talking about. Um, her name is uh, Lucia Bukola. If you are joining us for the first time, my name is Raima Suleiman. She is the initiative to write to better life uh, NGO. Yeah. Good day, madam. Good afternoon. Pleased to have me. Yes, I'm so pleased to have you here. Actually, we, I want us to, to talk about uh, saying no. When, we, when do we really need to say no? When you don't feel comfortable with things around you. Mm. You are meant to say no. No matter what, you have to be direct with your no. Mm. And you have to take your ground on your no. Saying no is your right, not a privilege. You have to take that your rights as mm. right, your right, so not a privilege. saying no is, 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 is a right yes. that one has to, yes. Yes. Has to assume that, okay, this is something that is mandatory for yes. me to it do. Yes, it is your right, mm. not a privilege. And sometimes I also feel like saying no is a, is a way of you giving yourself love, like a self-love. Yes, it's a self-care. Self expressing yes. expressing self-love yes. yourself. Self-love, mm. self-care, and expressing your confidence in something that you are sure of. And it's actually healthy for you to say no. It's very, very healthy. Do you, do you sometimes think um, when, you, when you are saying no, you need some reason in particular, like to back up your, your, your response, actually, like to justify yes, your Yes, actually it depends on who you are saying no to. Mm. Like if it's somebody you know is elderly and you want to, you have to be polite about your no. You, 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 you have to show a kind, to yes, to be, to be polite. polite about your no. You don't need to be an aggressor when you're saying your no. Mm -hmm. You understand? You have to be polite. So when you when you're saying no, you 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 are actually you are supposed to be polite about it, not to be disrespectful, not to mm -hmm. say it angrily and make the other person angry about it about your no. All right. Thanks so much for sharing more light, sharing more light. You're on always that. welcome. And also, sometimes I used to feel like um, there is. There, there is need for people to actually take responsibility on accepting people's response towards them. You know, sometimes we, we find ourselves in a situation whereby when someone say no to us, we don't, uh, we don't take it lightly. We take it to heart. Like, we feel offended. We feel hurt by it. And what, what do you think could actually be a cause for things like that? And what measure do you think one can actually take when some some issues arise like that and you feel like, no, why is she saying no to me? Most times, it has always been yes. You know, some people are actually used to hearing yes, yes from yes. you. There are some people that when, you, when they request something from you, you just simply give it to them. Sometimes, even kids, yes. When, when kids request for things and you... You are the parent that you always want to give. give. You always give. At times, when you say no to that child, the child feels somehow and end up sitting at the back of the chair in the house or trying to just exclude themselves from the house activities or, even, or even in school. Even saying no to a child could be as, uh, you know, like you are actually correcting that child. Mm. And you have to stand your ground because mm. you are actually achieving a positive uh, uh, response. They are actually achieving uh, your no is actually positive. Hmm. You, know, you are trying to help the child grow in a good manner, in a good way. So you have to, as an adult or as a parent, you have to stand your ground by saying, "No, I'm not giving you this," hmm. or "No, uh, you are not going there." Hmm. You understand? So your no, you know, in every no you will say, we have to have a positive result from it. Wow. I'm going to take that down. In <laughs> every no you say, you have to have a positive result right. for it. Um, it is very, very important to actually have a positive result in whatever we do and try to 
make sure that we we put we put ourselves on track like we put ourselves on on check on daily yeah, basis yeah. and feel like okay am i actually achieving my yeah. goal for the day or am i achieving my goal on this particular thing or things we do on daily basis wow that is that is so good it it is a it is a note um from uh, mrs bukola lusa that will have to put down for us here and uh, make sure we 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 go by it on daily basis i'm so glad you are here today <laughs> also i it. would like you to to tell me more i mean to tell us more about your your ngo Yes, Right to Better Life Initiative is an NGO based on women empowerment. And it's also an initiative to help the vulnerable women and children in our society. You know, there is the, we always say this, um, uh, women empowerment and empowerment is power. You know, when you are empowered as a woman, you know, you, you, you tend to be safe, you know, dependent. You tend to, you know, achieve things on your own. You are not a burden to somebody or you are not a burden to your spouse. Mm -hmm. You can stand on your ground and you can also assist you know, when a woman is empowered, is you know, is an added value to the family, to the society, yes, and to yes. the society. Exactly. Yes, it makes, exactly. It makes that woman not to be a body. body. Yes, exactly, it's exactly. So we always advocate on that. Wow, wow, wow! So I'm, so, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. <laughs> it's I, my pleasure. I hope too. next time we invite you on this show, we'll be. I'll be having, glad yes, to be we'll here. Be having more of you here on the program. Um, also, back to our discussion, sometimes we find ourselves, uh, sometimes uh, it's always, uh, or should I say, sometimes people feel like when you are saying no, you have to be sorry. Like, mm. you have to say sorry. Mm. You have to, there has to be a way to apologize mm. to the person you are saying sorry to. No, if you're actually, well, if you're actually, if you're actually saying no, and you're at the same time saying sorry, that means your no is not your yes. Mm. But when you are saying no in a polite way, you mm. tend to, you probably you let the person understand your reason why saying no. If you are not comfortable with something, for instance, if you are in a toxic relationship, mm. you are not okay with it. You can't continue with it. So you just have to stand, stay your, I mean, stand your ground mm -hmm. by saying no. I can't continue with this. So at the same time, when you are saying no, no, it's not as if you are saying sorry, but maybe probably yeah. Even when you are saying no, sometimes it means that you are actually saying yes to something else. That's if you're apologizing for saying no. Like if you're apologizing for saying no to that particular person, okay. that means you are you are actually saying yes indirectly. You are saying yes. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. Because yeah. actually, you don't need to say sorry for saying no. You understand? Yeah. You just have, you know, let the person understand your reason for saying no. If you are not comfortable with that particular thing or the particular situation you are in, you can mm -hmm. actually say no. I can't continue with this without being sorry. Mm -hmm. about, yes. Without being sorry about. Yes. And at the same time, be polite. Be polite. It's yes, you have to be polite. Very, it's very, very important. When you are saying no. You have to be, be polite, polite about it. it, yes. You don't have to say sorry. You don't have to apologize for saying no. And at the same time, I want to leave us with a, 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 a statement that, uh, that has to do with uh, the topic we are talking about now, yes. Which is, no is a complete sentence. Yes. No is a complete sentence. A capital no. no. I'm not taking this. Yes. I'm not doing this. For instance, now you you have a book of work on your table and you feel like probably you are, you are in a work um, working environment that actually feels like okay she can she can work of course she likes working she she's dedicated sometimes you have to let people know that okay I'm fine I am dedicated to this work but I am tired I can't I can't continue yes, I can't I can't go beyond here I can't go beyond this. Thank you so much, Bukola. You're welcome. Thank you for coming on the program. We really appreciate your your presence here, and we, we we would love to have you here again sometimes. And I would also love to come on some of your activities, your NGO activities. Yes. If uh, you are just joining us, um, I mean your lovely host, Raimat Suleiman, and today on the program we have actually talked about saying no, yes, 
we said saying no is a complete sentence and our lovely guest also leave us with a with a statement that says okay that when you say no you you have to get a positive result yes, and yes. at the same time yes. your no is your right yes. is not a privilege yes. so our lovely viewers this will bring us to the end of the program today if uh, this is your first time watching our program kindly subscribe to our youtube page at tender tv follow our instagram page at tender tv stay with us bye